In our previous classes, we have done about the convex lens and concave lens, and we have discussed about the focus that we have two types of focus here f1 and f2. They are called principal focus, and we have done with these two centers of curvature c1 also represented by 2f1 and c2 represented by 2f2. Similarly, in case of concave lens, we have the same notations for the principal focus and your centers of curvatures. So, to begin with, in today's video class, let us see how are the images are formed in a concave lens as well as in convex lens. So, let us first see about convex lens. So, in convex lens, we have six positions of object and we will have six different positions of image formation. So, in this position, see, the table shows us here, the first one is at infinity. It is the position of the object when the object is placed at infinity. It refers to the position of the object when it is very far away from the lens. Here, beyond 2F1, as we all know, 2F1 is your C1, that is your center of curvature, the first center of curvature in front of the lens. And so beyond, when we put the object just a little bit away behind the 2F1, then we call that position as beyond 2F1. Then when we put the object at the point 2F1, then we call it as at 2F1 position. And when we put the object between F1, here your focus in front of the lens, and 2F1, as we know, it is the center of curvature in front of the lens. So, this position, we call it between F1 and 2F1. Then, when we put the object at F1, that is your at focus F1. Between focus F1 and optical center, this is the last in our discussion. So, here, in this case, we are going to put the object in between this optical center, as we know what is optical center, and F1, the fo focus, in front of the lens. So, for different positions of the objects, we have different positions of the image and we have relative size of the image here as shown in the table. Then we have nature of the image. So, we have discussed it earlier what type of there are two types of images. Let us discuss some three important or special rays which will be considered in the formation of ray diagram. See, here, this is your convex lens and we are taking, see, the line that passes through F1, F2 and the optical center, as we all know, it is your principal axis. Then, whenever we draw a ray parallel to the principal axis, after refraction, after refraction through the lens, it will pass through the focus that is behind the convex lens. Now, in case of concave lens, here we see that when we draw a ray parallel to the principal axis, after refraction through the lens, it will go away, it will diverge away. And if we reproduce it backward, it will be seen like that it is passing or coming out from the focus F1 in front of the concave lens. The next ray is your C. Here, if the ray passes through this focus, principal focus in front of the convex lens, then after refraction through the lens, it will go parallel to the principal axis. And in case of your convex <coughs> concave lens, this ray, which seems to be passing through the focus behind, see, F2, it will go parallel to the principal axis. And the third one, any ray passing through in both the cases of convex lens and concave lens, passing through the optical center will pass through it, the point optical center without any deviation or without any refraction. So these are the three important these are the three important rays that we will be considering while drawing the ray diagrams for different positions of the object and how the images are formed in case of both convex lens and concave lens. So here see the first diagram here you see this one the diagram A it shows 
the image formation of an object when the object is placed at infinity. So here in this play, <coughs> in this diagram, we see that we are considering only all the rays coming parallel to the principal axis. So as we have done above, that all the rays, any rays coming parallel to the principal axis after refraction through the ray uh, through the lens, it will pass through the focus behind the lens. Then so the image is formed here at F2, then we find that the type of the image is point image and as well as we will know that since the image is formed by actual intersection of all the rays then it is real as well as it will be inverted image. So to, in order to discuss the different diagrams let us go ahead with let us see this one. When the object is placed at infinity, we found out that the image is formed at focus, that is your focus behind the lens. So that is, the, that is one diagram which we will not be discussing here, but the other diagrams we can discuss here. See. So here, in case of this convex lens, we can find out, uh, we can find out that here it is your focus F, here also your principal focus, both are the principal foci. So, if the principal focus is minus 4, this is in the left hand side, and 4 for the right hand side, then your center of curvature on both sides of the lens will be denoted by minus 8, and here it is your 8. So, we are clear about that, then after that we are going to see the next position of the image when the object is placed be <coughs> beyond, beyond the center of curvature, see here in front of the lens, your minus A is the center of curvature and if we place an object just above the center of curvature on this side of the lens, then we call this position as beyond the center of curvature. So, when we have an object like beyond the center of curvature then we find that the image is formed here so this is our focus and this is our center of curvature so the image is formed in between these two points like then we can say the image position is formed between the 4 and your a that is between the focus and the principal uh, center of curvature of this convex lens so after this position then if we push this up I can change this position. Now the position of the object is at the center of curvature. So when the object is placed at the center of curvature, then we find that the image is also formed at the center of curvature. Now <coughs> see the size of the object and the size of the image, they are all the same together. So the next position of the object is between the focus and your center of curvature. So when we put the object C here in front of the lens, minus 8 and 4 is the position. So if we put the object in between these two in um, between these two points, then we call that image or uh, object position as your between focus and your center of curvature. So as you can see. We can put, it, uh, put the object here, 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 not, uh, uh, not at 4 or not at 8. So this position of the object we call it as between focus and center of curvature. So when we put the object, as you can see, let me change it, change it, put it here, see, you can see the object, you can see the object when we go more and more, see, so since it is not our screen is not so big, so we cannot accommodate the image so form. See, if I bring this object nearer and nearer to the focus, then the image size increases. See, so as you can see from this represent uh, this diagram. So let us put the object here, and then we can conclude that when an object is placed between the focus and center of curvature in front of the lens, then image is formed beyond, see, beyond 
this is your beyond the center of curvature. So the image is formed beyond the center of curvature, size of the image and less than type of the image, inverted and real image is formed. So now let us consider the next position when the object is placed at focus here. So here only the two rays are left, other ray that, that is passing through focus, it goes straight. We can and see that the two rays see, coming parallel to the principal axis passes through the focus and another ray passing through the optical center, they go without any intersec intersection. Okay, they don't intersect each other. So it is possible that they might intersect at a position called infinity. So we conclude that in this diagram or in this position of the object, when the object is placed at focus of a convex lens, then the image is formed at infinity. So now the next position is when the object is placed Okay, so I am trying to adjust or accommodate in the screen. As you can see, when the object is brought in between, this is minus 4 is your focus and this 0 or O as we call it optical center. So when we put this object in between these two, let me change the position and let me show to all of you. See, we can see that an image is following behind this object. So, this object, when placed in between this focus and optical center, forms an image. Where is the image? Image here, in front, same side of the object. So, and we find that the image is very big, that means it is an enlarged image is formed. And at the same time, see, the image is formed by backward reproduction. Or when we reproduce the rays backward, after backward reproduction of these rays, then we find that the rays intersect at this point and an image is formed in this position. So the image so formed is the type of the image which is formed here is your virtual image and it is erect. So this position, at this position, when the object is placed between optical center and focus, we find that an image is formed which is virtual and enlarged. So this position is the last position of image formation in your convex lens. Now let us discuss the image formation or the ray diagram for the image formation of this lens which is your concave lens. Now see. So the first position in the in case of concave lens is when the object is placed at infinity. So when the object is placed at infinity, let me show you this is let us consider that this is here, this represents your object and let us say the object was earlier here. So we get to see an image form here. So when I take it away, then you can see that the image also it was here coming towards the focus. So as I keep on taking it away, means if I place this object at an infinity, then at that position of the object, the image will come to the focus. So we conclude that when an object is placed at infinity, in case of a concave lens, then the image is formed at the focus. Now, another position is your position of the object between infinity and your optical center. So here, between infinity and optical center refers to any position. You can consider these positions here, or here, or here, or a little bit far away. Then let us consider and see, see, when I bring, it, bring this object nearer, you can see the image is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. See, okay. So this position is unlike in your convex lens, the image is always formed in front concave lens. So you can see this image formation. So this position is called your 
the position of the object between infinity and optical center. So in this case, both in case of the object when the object is at infinity and when object is at between optical center and infinity, you get to see that an image is formed in front of the lens, that is your concave lens, then we see that the image is erect. So this image is erect. So what we conclude is that this the type of image, this type of image is virtual image and you can get to see that smaller image is formed and the image always lies between this optical center and your focus. Thank you.